In this course, we're going to be dealing with a lot of higher-end assembly-level techniques involving the Autodesk Inventor 3D design software. We're going to begin by looking at working with large assemblies, some of the settings around having good performance with those assemblies, as well as fast loading and unloading of the designs from your computer's memory. We're then going to look at advanced constraints, such as motion constraints for rotation and translation, limiting constraints, flexible constraints, as well as transitional constraints, where we have different faces touch each other as they go through the range of motion. We'll also look at UCS coordinate system constraint sets to make the complex assembly purposes a little bit easier. Next, we'll look at different positional representations, such as this gripper here that we would like to show in different orientations and different open and closed states, and how to work with that inside of Autodesk Inventor. After that, we'll look at very large assemblies and how to manage how many components we have loaded at any given time with level of detail. After that, we'll move on to Frame Generator, where we'll see how to work with skeletons as well as the generated frames from those skeletons for quick and easy modifications of frame type designs. Lastly, we'll finish off with weldments inside of Autodesk Inventor to see how to apply preparations, welds, and machinings to our assembly level designs. One last note involving our courseware, we do have some very large data sets inside of here, as you saw in these particular models I had open. So you might have a long time to download files if you are downloading them or opening them, depending on the type of machine that you have and the specifications of your workstation. But let's not waste any more time and get into the thick of it, Autodesk Inventor 3D Design Software.